Hey guys, welcome for another cool tutorial about Bootstrap. Bootstrap 4 comes with a number of built-in styles. There are a few you might find useful in your projects, but as you probably already know that there's a ton of styling that's coming with Bootstrap right out of the box. In this part 1 of this video tutorial, we're going to talk about the most useful classes for different components and layout. In particular, we're going to discuss the following topics. Typography, list groups, tables, jumbotron, breadcrumbs, pagination, labels, buttons, images, alerts, and cards. Before we begin, we need to set up our HTML codes that we're going to use for this tutorial. Here I have the basic markup on my index.html file. It includes the basic doc type, meta informations, as well as our Bootstrap 4 CDN link. You can use your own hosted Bootstrap 4 CSS file by downloading it here and linking the location of the file in the head section. Bootstrap typography uses Helvetica Noia, Helvetica, Arial, and Sans Serif in its default font stack. These are all standard fonts and are included as defaults on all major computers. All body text has the font size set at 1 rem or 16 pixels with the line height set at 1.5. Let's begin with the headings. With the headings, Bootstrap has 6 standard heading level styles. Heading 1 has 2.25 rem or 36 pixels. Heading 2 has 1.875 rem or 30 pixels. Heading 3 has 1.5 rem or 24 pixels. H4 has 1.125 rem or 18 pixels. Heading 5 has 0.875 rem or 14 pixels. And H6 has 0.75 rem or 12 pixels. You can also use headings as classes to any HTML tag element and it will render the same styles. Let's see these paragraph tags for instance. As you can see, it inherit the same exact styles. In addition, you can also add an inline subheading to any of the headings. By using the small tag around any of the element and you will get a smaller text in lighter color. Let's see this in action. I'll just insert this small tag here for every headings. Okay, let's see this in our browser. As you can see, each have a slight smaller font size, normal font weight, and light gray color instead of a solid black color. Another thing that you can do with headings is to use for display class headings to control the size of each headings. Let me show you what I mean. I will add the following codes on my index.html file. As you can see, there are four classes available. Let's see this in our browser. Basically, display-1 class has 3.5 rem or 49 pixel size. The display-2 class has 4.5 rem or 63 pixels. Display-3 has 5.5 rem or 77 pixels. Display-4 has 6 rem or 84 pixels. Another thing that is worth mentioning when it comes to Bootstrap 4 typography is the use of the lead text, mark text, initialism class, abbreviation, code, and block code. Let's add some codes here. <coughs> As you can see here, I added the lead class on my first paragraph. This is to emphasize a paragraph and make it stand out from the rest of the text. Another thing is that I added a mark tag here. This will highlight a text to emphasize its importance. The abbreviation tag and initialism class usually goes together. The initialism class will simply just render an abbreviation with a smaller font size. The code tag here will render styles for computer code. Bootstrap has its own style on this. Okay, let's see all the codes on our browser. Great, as discussed, we have our lead class here, the mark the ABBR tag or abbreviation tag, the initialism class here, and the code tag render on their own bootstrap styles. Finally, let's talk about black codes. To add blocks of coded text or any quotation that you want to inset or insert apart from the main text, you can use the block code tag with a class block code. 
You might also need to add a side tag and a footer tag for the alignment of the source and the author of the codes. Let's see how Bootstrap 4 will render this in our browser. Cool! As you can see here, the block code class renders it the way it should be. Bootstrap 4 has its own styling for three main list type, ordered, unordered, and definition lists. There's nothing special here though except that there's three classes you can use. List dash unstyled class will remove list style and left margin of each list. List dash inline class will display the list in an inline pattern and add some padding. DL dash horizontal class display your definition list in a horizontal way. Okay, let's see all these three in action. As you can see, list dash unstyled class will remove everything on its style including the left margin while list dash inline class displays them in an inline block mode dl horizontal or dl dash horizontal is for definition list so it will display our definition list in a horizontal manner for tables bootstrap has five optional classes that you can use table dash stripe table dash bordered, table dash hover, table dash sm, table dash inverse. Let's first take a look at the table dash stripe class. I will add this class inside the table tag along with the class table. Let's see this in action. Great, as you can see it alternates the background colors for each rows. Next, I'll use the table dash bordered class. Let's see how does it look like. As you can see, using this class will add the nice gray color borders around the table. Let's now use the table dash hover. Table dash hover class will simply add a nice hover background effect when you mouse over on each table rows. Now, let's cut the rows padding by using the table dash sm. As you can see, this class will simply cut the rows padding or the row padding in half to condense the table. Finally, let's try the newest class added in Bootstrap 4 which is the table-inverse class. Great, as you can see, what it does is that it inverts the colors of the table. Another thing that is worth mentioning when it comes to Bootstrap 4 tables is that you have the ability to change the color of each row. There are five classes that you can use. The first one is table-success, table-danger, table-warning, table-info, and finally table-active. Let's see how does it look like on our browser. As you can see, it changes the color of each rows according to its classes. One final thing that you need to know about bootstrap tables is that you can also change the colors of the table head. To achieve that, there are two classes that you can use. The tHead-Default class and the tHead-Inverse class. Let's see how both of them looks like. tHead-Default will simply add a nice light gray background on the table head. While tHead-Inverse or tHead while tHead-Inverse will add a nice black background on the table head. By the way, you can make your tables responsive too using the class table-responsive. Just add it inside a table tag along with the class table. One of the great features of Bootstrap is the Jumbotron. This is a large content area that increases the size of headings and adds a lot of padding on it. There are two classes that you can use here. The first one is Jumbotron. It is for fixed width. While the next one is Jumbotron-Fluid for fluidly responsive mode of the Jumbotron. To use Jumbotron, you can just add the class Jumbotron or Jumbotron-Fluid on a div class or a container area and add elements such as h1 and paragraph tags. Let's see this in our browser. 
As you can see, we have a container with a large gray background with some large paddings and text. If you want to display a hierarchy-based information on your website, then the best way to do it is through breadcrumbs. In Bootstrap 4, a breadcrumb is simply an ordered list with a class of breadcrumb, with the active class to specify the current page. Let's see how these codes look like. Cool, as you can see here, we have our breadcrumb built with Bootstrap styles and the WordPress list item is the active page or link. Bootstrap 4 has a pagination interface options for elements within an ordered list with a wrapper nab that has a specific class that identifies the element. We can use three classes here. The first one is the active class. This is to specify the active page number. The next one is disabled class to disable a specific page number. The third one will be pagination-lg or pagination-sm to specify the size of the pagination via UL tag. Let's see these codes in action. As you can see, we have a nice pagination here. This number here is in a disabled form and this is the active page number. Sometimes, you just need the simple pagination links such as previous or next text instead of numbers. Just like the pagination links, the pager uses an ordered list within wrapper nav via pager class. The links are centered by default. Let's see this pager in action. As you can see here, Bootstrap has a nice styles when it comes to pager. Usually, when you want to display counts, tips, or other markup, you usually need a style that stands out from ordinary text to make it obvious. Bootstrap 4 has an option to style your labels via label class and its color variation class. There are six major classes that you can use for labels for colors. The first one is label-default, label-primary, label-success, Label dash info, label dash warning, and finally label dash danger. Let's see this in our browser. As you can see, we have a nice label here with the respective colors. In Bootstrap 4, label dash peel class was introduced. This class will make the corners rounded than its default ridges if you add it along with the label class. Let's check this out. As you can see, it adds a rounded corners on each label. Bootstrap enables users to create a variety of button designs using the BDN class along with the preferred style class. You can use any of the six button classes for your design or color. The first one is BDN-Primary, BDN-Secondary, BDN-Success, BTN-Warning, BTN-Danger, and last is the BTN-Link for simple links. By the way, in Bootstrap 3, the BTN-Secondary class is the default class. Let's see how these buttons look like on a browser. As you can see, we have a variety of colors here. If you don't want buttons with a solid background color, you can use btn dash class color dash outline to create a button with just a border on it. Let's see how this looks like on our browser. Great! As you can see, we have outlined buttons here. Bootstrap has its own styles on images. For images, we can use three classes that can be used to apply some simple styles. The first one is img-rounded, img-circle, img-thumbnail. Let's check this out on our browser. As you can see, the img-rounded class adds border ranges of 
0.3 rem to give the image rounded corners. The IMG dash circle class added a 50% radius to the entire image so that it can have a perfect circle shape by adding border. And the IMG dash thumbnail adds a bit of padding and a gray border. If you want your users to read a certain message for the purpose of notice or warning, then Bootstrap Alert is the answer. You can add alerts by creating a wrapper div and adding a class of alert along with one of these classes, alert-success, alert-info, alert-warning, alert-danger. Let's see this in our browser. Great, we have our alerts here with their respective design and colors. In addition, you can also add a fading effect when it comes to your alerts. You just need to simply add the alert class, the class color, and the alert dismissible class. You need to add the fade and the IN class. For your button, you need to add the class close and the data attribute, which is data dash dismiss is equals to alert. And then the label of the uh, closing closing mark okay let's see this in our browser as you can see here when I click this uh, X button here or the close button here smoothly it will fade away smoothly Cards are Bootstrap 4's new component which can be used to display information as a page or a container which supports a different kind of content such as link, text, images, headers, footers, and many more with a variety of background colors. It has replaced wells and panels and thumbnails. These cards add the card and card dash block classes to an element. There are also some more classes that you can use inside card class. The first one is card-title for heading title, card-text for the text element, card-header for the header, card-footer for the footer. You can also add colors to your cards by just adding one of these classes. These color classes are identical with colors used on the alert. Card-primary card dash success card dash info card dash warning card dash danger okay let's see this in action great we, as you can see we have a card with a green color since i've added the card success class inside the main div and that's it for this tutorial on the next video tutorial we're going to talk about some more bootstrap classes and its javascript part 